Who's a happy travel cat? Who's a happy travel cat? <laughs> We are Becca and Matt, and we are traveling through the United States in our 13-foot camper with our two cats, Grace and Peach. We started this trip in California and are making our way to North Carolina to complete our first part of this journey. Join us every Sunday for a new video, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and give this video a like. Thanks! So I don't know why, but I had kind of low expectations for Miami, or no expectations. I just didn't think I'd be that impressed, but I was actually really um, surprised by it. I liked it. It had a beautiful beach. We only were in South Miami Beach. So South we, Beach. South Beach. So we were on the beach. I even got in the water. It was warm enough for that. Beautiful clear water. The beach was a little bit more crowded than I like. I like being alone. <laughs> but I mean, it's Miami, so that's not gonna happen. And then we walked to the Art Deco. That was a nice area. Only thing is, the restaurants look nice but they all were very tourist -y. like each restaurant was serving the same thing so i don't know we ended up not eating anywhere but we definitely want to come back stay in miami because our airbnb was outside so traffic on the way home was kind of a pain holy smokes <laughs> yeah it was more than just a pain it was annoying but anyways we'll be back to check it out so you never know what you might enjoy when you go check the new places out It's just a random KOA campground. We're actually right off the busy street, so it's not the most serene place, but it's really close to the beach and it had availability. Yeah, so we're here for two nights and then we'll move on to a state park. Hello. Hi, cute girl. Uh, hungry and hangry, hungry and hangry, <laughs> hungry and hangry. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> rating all the pizzas we have because we've had a lot but this is probably one of the nicest <laughs> about you and you are very cute. Um, I think we're gonna move here. No we're not. This will be our like quiet beach home, you know, nothing over the top. It's not too busy. It's Miami is not too far away. About two hours, <laughs> two and a half. Anyways, it's really cute here. So if you ever driving through and think, nah, do it. It's very small, so you can literally spend the day here. And there's a brewery. Yeah, it was good, good pizza.
successful date afternoon night unexpected in Fort Bryce but now we're going back to the kitty starting and route to KOA campground Fort the, Pierce downtown the now, cat. You, now you all know head where we south live. on north tell me you hate traveling without saying you hate traveling <laughs> attitude queen you're just gonna look outside and wish you were there instead of here So today, unexpectedly, ended up being a very fun day in Fort Pierce, Florida. Who would have thought? I guess with traveling, it's always kind of the unexpected things that are fun and make you feel like you're, like, this is what we do it for. What they don't say is that you also have to deal with a lot of mishaps and boring places and stressful times to get to those good times but it's okay we'll take the good times when we can after an afternoon evening in the city in the town we're back at the camper and I'm just laying on our bed watching YouTube and we're having a cozy night in the girls one of them is sleeping the other one is sniffing at something outside the window so I think we had a cat under a camper earlier, so that might be what's going on. But anyways, tomorrow is Saturday, so we might check out the farmer's market. There's a manatee ob observation place you can go to and maybe see a manatee. That would be awesome. And then maybe, we will, yeah, la, 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 la. maybe we'll even go to the beach. So yeah, that's all we're doing. So good night. Good morning! It's a little toasty in here, but we're doing some cleanup, such as dishes. Yep, dishes with my little helper. I don't feel like dishes really get super clean, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Anyways, getting ready to go check out the farmer's market. What? Can't give manatees water. Where do you see that? Oh. Well, it's like a wild animal. <laughs> Anyone know why there is a steering wheel all the way at the very top? Like, is that just a preference or for a better viewing? at Fort Pierce, hottest part of the day, Saturday. I don't think there'll be anyone there. Yeah, covered in sunscreen. Our skin is still not used to this much sun. 
this time of year. You would think, being from California, but it's a different kind of heat out here. <laughs> stop. Stop. Yes, so queen. Ah. Ah. Stop. I don't <laughs> Good morning. So we forgot to say goodbye to you guys after we went back out to that cider place to listen to some live music. But it's the next day <laughs> um, and it rained last night, which was very nice because it brought in some cooler air, although it still feels damp. I'm not sure how I feel about this humidity. But anyways, so the plan for today is it's another move day. So we are packing up and then heading about two hours north to a state park. I think it's called Tom Tomoka State Park. I'll confirm that later. And we'll be there for two nights. So here we go. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. Distractions will get away. This is what we wait.